Welcome back to Simplifying Synthesis. In this video, we are going to look at a bio-inspired one-step total synthesis of Peshawar quinone. This work was published by the George Group in the journal Chemical Science. Peshawar quinone was first isolated in 2015 by Shah and Khan from Fernandoa adenophila, a plant that is commonly used in traditional medicine. This plant contains a compound dehydroalpha-lapachone, and the authors propose that this could be the precursor to Peshawar quinone. They suggest that this molecule could dimerize to form Peshawar quinone via a reaction cascade without any enzymatic catalysis. Their proposed biosynthesis involves a retro 6 pi electrocyclization that would open the dehydropyran ring, forming an oxidiene. Subsequent microaddition, electrocyclization, and an intramolecular cycloaddition could then form Peshawar quinone. To investigate this hypothesis, they developed a simple and extremely elegant synthesis of this highly complex molecule. This was done by simply heating Lawson with prenal in toluene at 110 degrees Celsius with a catalytic amount of DMAP. They note that while this reaction was carried out at elevated temperature to increase the rate of reaction, mixing these reactants at room temperature also forms the desired product. This reaction first proceeds through a novenagel condensation of Lawson and prenal. The enol of Lawson adds to the aldehyde, and then the aldol addition product undergoes an elimination which is catalyzed by DMAP. This deprotonates the alpha position, promoting an E1CB elimination that produces a dienone. The deprotonation of this dienone at the terminal methyl group could produce an enolate that could undergo an intermolecular Michael addition to another equivalent of the dienone. This highly unusual intermolecular Michael addition would form the first bond dimerizing these two molecules, and this could set the stage for an oxa 6 pi electrocyclization. This reaction is a pericyclic rearrangement that involves the formation of a new sigma bond, forming a ring, and the migration of two double bonds. This reaction is not particularly stereoselective, and therefore produced a mixture of isomers with the new stereocenter at the C13 position. With a dehydropyran ring now formed, it could then undergo an intramolecular 3 plus 2 cycloaddition. This occurs from the phase anti to the methyl group, as the stereochemistry of the C13 position directs it to the opposite phase of the molecule. As the microaddition is unselective, both of the 11 prime isomers are formed. This leads to a 2.6 to 1 diastereomeric ratio of the final product. As this type of cycloaddition is very rarely catalyzed by enzymes in nature, the authors propose that this reaction is not stereocontrolled when it occurs inside the cell. This hypothesis is supported by data found in an earlier paper, which shows traces of the 11' epimer present in the proton NMR spectra. This further supports the proposed biosynthesis of Peshwara quinone and suggests that this molecule is in fact derived from dehydroalpha-lapachone. Well, that brings us to the end of this short but very elegant synthesis. I'll be back next week with a full-length video on the total synthesis of atrochinenins A and B.